And we should be live. I'm going to say we are. Welcome back to The Change Physician. I am Melissa Cady, the Challenge Doctor, with my co-host, Dr. Kevin Kakaro. And we're here today on the first day of 2022 to say Happy New Year's. And of course, it's called our Saturday Salutations. So we can say hi to everyone else. And of course, from Oregon to Texas, uh, Kevin and I say hello to each other and catch up on things and occasionally record some episodes for all of you. So thank you for joining us on Facebook Live. If you see this on the Challenge Doctor uh, Facebook page, I'm just cross posting. It's actually live originally from the Change Physician Facebook page. If you don't know what the Change Physician is all about, you can go to thechangephysician.com and check out uh, what we're up to, what we're all about. And if you want to join the community, whether you're a physician or a physician ally, feel free to join us there for any upcoming events or special shares. So how are you, Kevin? Did you get all your little posts done? Almost since I had to. Oh. I was trying to drag it on, but you no, know. You, did, you were doing a good job. Um, <laughs> but since well, I don't have to switch this thing, you guys can share to everything else. Except I have to switch the profile to Sarah to one place, which is all silly. But um, yeah. Yeah, I just finished. I think I'm getting a little bit better. <laughs> well, <laughs> better about that. While you're still doing that, you want me to say what's been happening or do you want to go into that? Uh, you go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So, of course, uh, let me just kind of give a bird's eye view that we had started mid-2020 with the Change Physician podcast. And um, after multiple ideas, uh, Kevin and I decided that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are finding themselves burned out and not finding the joy in their own career or their own personal lives. And it all bleeds into each other's other areas of their lives. And so... Um, we found it exhilarating and fun to meet new people and share their stories. And then we have chats about various topics. Um, and that first hundred episodes took us from mid 2020 to mid 2021. And then the next 59 episodes kind of took us out through the end of 2021. Um, but we kind of geared this past year as more focusing on uh, personal development. And uh, of course, we brought on guests. Uh, it all ties into that as well. So any guests that can kind of accentuate or um, enhance some of the things that we need to really think about or remind us of the things we need to consider and some strategies or frameworks to improve our own lives, or even just give us hope that there is a better way and that we're not stuck in this one repeating cycle. Uh, we actually have a choice and we're more aware. And so uh, that's one of the big topics over the last, I guess, year and a half um, that I think was better brought to light uh, by Kevin is that if you are not aware of any issues, um, it's really hard to change. And this is all about the change position. We're all gonna have challenges. Change is inevitable. Change is sometimes what we want to do for our lives, but you can't do any of that without being aware. So well, you can't, you like can't do intentional change without exactly. being aware. Yeah. Yeah. So I just thought I'd highlight that, that we've kind of gone through some changes ourselves and evolved in our own podcast. and. Um, you know, we're human too. So we're always trying to strive to bring great content. And I know we've got some great guests coming up in 2022. But this past few uh, couple of weeks, we kind of took a little bit of a break for ourselves. And we shared a lot of trailers for some of our favorite episodes and some of our favorite guests. And <laughs> Bless you. That's what <laughs> that's what our last You're not supposed to hear that. I, I thought I muted myself on that. One. Oh, that's okay. It, you heard it? Oh, yeah. How in the hell did you? Oh, I don't know. I, you just didn't. You're too fast. Mm. Um, yeah, it looks like, uh, let's see, episode 157 right before Christmas was about not forgetting our past and that we, you know, by not forgetting, we can be a better master for the future. Um, but the highlights and the trailers of all our, our great episodes or guests are from are for episode 158 and 159, which revolved right after Christmas, right before the New Year's Eve. And we hope you all enjoyed that. If you haven't checked them out, go ahead and get the best of the best in our most recent episodes and kind of get a little taste of everything. Yeah. The and advantage of a, a highlight reel too, is we're, um, we're at 159 episodes now. So if someone's new, the kind of the easiest thing is just kind of listen to a highlight reel and then you can kind of hear, and, oh, wait, that sounds kind of interesting. And then you can kind of check back and, and hit those old episodes. Cause that's, a, you know, that's one of the things that annoys me about podcasts is that you record all the stuff and, um, it's really easy for stuff to get buried, particularly things in the first, the first six months. We had some really, really good episodes back then. And we don't ever want those to be forgotten for sure. Right. So if you're new, 
go back to the beginning <laughs> and, <laughs> and kind of go from there. Yeah, you, it's kind of like, you know, the episode before all those highlight reels, is, you know, and learning a little bit about our past will help you understand uh, maybe what you missed and you need to go back to, but um, have an idea of, of what we're all about and what we like to bring you. Um, I think we did at the end of, I'm trying to recall, I think our ep- 100, when was that? I'm looking back at 12. I meant to look and see. The 100th episode? We did a Christmas special um, in 2020. Yeah. And, then and we did I a, think and the 100th then we did episode a, was June 6th. That was yeah. The yeah. So we kind of, we've kind of reviewed on our own together. So those are some areas that uh, people can go back and listen to those to see kind of our earliest episodes and some of our favorite things. But um, the 2021, we definitely put a lot of trailers out there for you to listen to. So um, I think that'll be something we should, you know, really capture and do every year just because. It gives us a little bit of a, uh, a break um, for us and our own families and also sharing the best of what we've done over the past year. So just had to mention that. Well, you need to share anything uh, special or exciting this past uh, week that throughout the holiday season that you want the guests or fans? It was holidays, man. It was uh, always interesting. That's for sure. <laughs> No, you it don't was want quiet. too much drama. You want a little bit of fun, but not too much drama. Yeah, no, it, it was it was pretty quiet and um, pretty low key. I think we talked about like home for the holidays and things like that, and, yeah. and how yeah. traditions change and traditions evolve. And we have a newer one where um, we do pot stickers. We might make pot stickers, like homemade pot stickers and things. Um, so that's sort of a newer transition we've been doing the last three or four years, I think. And usually we have family over that, but we didn't because the family that does that is not, they've been stuck out of the country for two years. <laughs> it's like, it's like when are you going to get back? Um, question on pot stickers. Yeah. Did you use a special instrument to make the little groove? Oh, no, man. Dude. Or did you it's, use your fingers? Well, first of all, I don't really do it because oh, it's see fine, the <laughs> but it's my wife and the kids. And, and so you make the middle. And then they make the dough and then they roll, they make, uh-huh. they cut off, they measure the amount. And then you, you, they hand roll, make these little circles, like uh-huh. um, silver dollar, a little bit bigger than silver dollars and then hand wrap them. Um, so no fancy instruments. Them? Huh? How do you close them? Pinch them. Pinch, 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 pinch. pinch. So you make you it wrap. look like the fancy stuff. Yeah. And then they pinch. That's why I don't do it is I don't like that fine stuff and I just get frustrated. And so mine are super ugly. <laughs> but then i'm like ah. just mush together <laughs> well i'm also imp- i want to get done right so i just want to rush and then you have a bunch of ugly ugly pot stickers and i'm like i don't know we don't want my ugly ones so who's the most patient in your family oh my wife is pretty patient <laughs> my daughter is pretty patient i'm the most impatient for sure i'm the worst without a doubt, <laughs> without a doubt. that's definitely me i'm the worst um well, I'm so far. I, so, I'm so far bad that there's nobody even close to, to me. <laughs> I don't think you're on the end, other end of the spectrum. I I'm guess. completely on the other end of the spectrum. But it's, it's good you got some patient people to deal with your. Impatience. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> patience is is a virtue that I have not um, cultivated. Yeah. Very well. <laughs> uh, sometimes I wonder if it's just like in kind of uh, ingrained in some people from early on, but you know, I'm sure. It definitely could change in either direction, depending on the circumstances. Um, that's yeah. funny. Anything, anything else from the holidays that uh, it sounds well, like quiet what and else? calm? Yeah, it was pretty calm. I was telling you before we got on that we had a very calm New Year's as usual. We're, and uh, we, we celebrated, my wife and I, the dropping of the ball at New York on New York time. Even though we're 10 p.m. for you, we're on West Coast no, time. 9 p.m. You're 9. It's 9, you're PM. 9 p.m. Yeah, so 9 p.m. We're like, yeah, and uh, and I think that counts because really time is a construct, and uh, we may say that's 9 p.m. over there, but what is to say that it's really not the same here? So you know, it works. Well, I saw the recording of New Zealand, uh, Auckland at Sky City, and the recording of uh, Australia's, um, you know, at the the Sydney Harbor. So. You know, I guess I was celebrating that way, but I never watched anything from America. I just, we just celebrated our Christmas last night because we go to my parents over the, you know, the actual Christmas time frame, And so we just did Christmas on New Year's because we weren't going to go out anyway. I might as well make it festive. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you're wondering what I'm wearing, this is just my husband loves the New Jersey Devils, you know, 
ice hockey kind of stuff um or hockey i should just say hockey um <laughs> so he likes to buy me things that uh, represent his teams that he's uh, a huge fan of so we had a lot of fun with that and um a little eggnog and all that but they're really you know kept it kept it nice and quiet and away from crazy people out there that might be uh uh imbibing a little too much so there's enough fireworks around our house that it felt like I was right in the middle of something. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, poor wildlife. The wildlife's yeah. probably scared, probably didn't show up anywhere. Um, <laughs> but yeah, good times, good times. Um, well, I I think that uh, we might just keep a little mum on our upcoming episodes for January um, because there's a few things in the mix. Um, but you definitely will need to keep up with us. Um, Saturday salutations. We might, and we'll have to discuss this. It might have to be a Sunday salutations next weekend, but look for us at these times. We'll Sunday find out. Salutations. We haven't done a Sunday salutations we, in a while. I think we have not done a Sunday salutations. So that makes yeah. it, we should, yeah, we'll probably have to do a Sunday salutations yeah. just even if it's just because. Yeah, so people, you're going to have to look out for us for usually it's 2 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Pacific. Um, but next Sunday, we'll do our little salutations and update on what the episodes coming ahead are. And um, we'll have some chats along the way this week that you can chime into um, uh, about change, challenge, and all the different aspects to where we want to improve in our lives, whether it's wealth, health relationships any other comments on that kevin no i i i feel like we're both kind of subdued today um <laughs> and and part of it for me is it, it, i you know again time is all is arbitrary stuff and the way we set the dates and it's always kind of funny how new year's resolutions are set around january but it's always it's always have a good to have a date that you can sort of sit and then reflect and kind of monitor in um that's what I do. Like, so, so usually, and it may not be exactly on new year's day, kind of take stock of where things are. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's what I've been doing all morning is just kind of looking at things and kind of seeing where we are and where we're going. And, um, yeah, kind of makes you a little, little reflective and, mm -hmm. uh, it's been interesting. It's been kind of interesting. So everything overall is good, but kind of makes me quiet, I'm yeah. not nearly as loud and obnoxious as sometimes I feel I am. It's a pensive moment on it's Saturday. A pensive moment. Maybe we need to find a day that rams with pensive and then we can. Mm. That, that's <laughs> a good one. I, yeah, I don't think there is it's, one. I don't think we'll be able to fly with that. Um, mm, we'll have to find a synonym for pensive. Thoughtful Thursdays. Thoughtful Thursdays. There you go. Yeah, that could work. Yeah. And yeah. everyone's kind of like falling asleep as we're talking and stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they're already asleep because it is Jan one. And if people were the yeah. people going out and doing that stuff at, at, uh, at midnight or whatever. Um, yep. Yeah. We're covering Saturdays. It just doesn't rhyme, doesn't, but doesn't you know, rhyme. it works for some people. Yeah. Well, why don't you take us out then? Sure. All right, folks. Well, welcome back to another episode of the change physician in the Saturday, the first Saturday salutations of the new year, 2022. Uh, a lot of exciting stuff in store. Um, hope you guys have transitioned in there remembering to write 22 on whatever it is that you need to write your dates on. It'll usually take me about 31 days or more to figure that out. Yes. Um, but yeah, we'll see you next Sunday, not Saturday. So next week will be the first Sunday salutation. Um, and until next time, stay well. Take care.